My father is from Athens, from Greece, and he came to the States in 1966. And so um, ever since I was a little girl, I was always very aware of Greece as a place that existed in my imagination. We'd visit once in a while, um, but I didn't know it as well as I came to know it as I grew older. I think, oh, there's so many uh, memories of Greece, but I think the thing that sticks with me most is a very simple one, um, is the idea of the Greek swim as something almost um, like a spiritual experience. And I love the way my Greek friends will count their number of swims. So when you meet a Greek in June, they'll say, I've had 28 swims now, how about you? And it's something that I thought was crazy. It was this competition. And now I start feeling it. I'll say, oh, I have to get one more swim in before I go home so I can count the, count the swims. Um, I think it's just, you know, the sea is something that's really important there, not in a way not in the way that, um, I think sometimes when you grow up in a place that's beautiful, you become sort of inured to it or immune to it. But I do feel like something about the sea is, very, is a very important thing to do, to go to the sea, to swim, and to have that kind of time of, of um, you know, spiritual cleansing, so to speak, whether you're spiritual or not. So I really love that, that idea. It's very simple, but it seems very Greek to me. I think everyone has a different experience. I, you know, I know some Greek Americans may have said, this is not my family, I don't recognize this family. Um, but I don't think that you can write a typical anything. I think that just veers into cliche and, 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 and stereotype and flat characters. Um, so I think, I mean, I think I want to reach, I think a Greek American reader will definitely see things that are familiar. But I also just, you know, think that a reader will see things that are familiar. I mean, I, I write so people will be moved whether they're Greek or not. Um, I think that if you're reading as a Greek or a Greek American, there'll be layers of things that you see that others might not. And so those things are almost like those inside jokes or things that you recognize. And I hope that would have some familiarity. I think for Greeks that actually grew up there um, and maybe came to the, to the States uh, later or came as teenagers, I hope that the book captured something about that time in a way that feels authentic, if not typical. And so that's kind of what I like to do as a writer.